You seem to be an aggressive hitter, if that's fair to say. How hard is it for you to, we don't see you walk a lot, but how hard is it in that situation to be willing to take the walk? Yeah, you know, I think what helps is having some previous at-bats off them and uh, knowing the situation. I mean, there's there's two things that go into it. i got to get something up because, you know, he's a ground ball guy and I'm trying to drive a pitch and I'm trying to, you know, you know, see what I can get going there. And the biggest thing for me was able to, uh, you know, see the change up early. And then when I got to the 3 2 count, I got a few heaters and then uh, took a couple good swings on one and thought he may go back to it. So raised my sights a little bit and, you know, was able to get something a little bit lower than I thought to to make it easy you take. Guys, you guys battled back against Boston and didn't get the win. How nice is it to battle back like this and get the victory in this place? Yeah, you need some you need some things like this to go right. You know, it's one of those things, uh, you know, we, we said, hey, let's flip the calendar. Let's get it off going good. And, uh, you know, we, it was one of those, you got to tip your cap to Herman, man. He, he threw a heck of a game. Uh, you know, was able to keep us off balance. And, you know, we were able to just, you know, get around enough times to get some guys on Quanti leading us off and just, I mean, continue to get that inning rolling. And, uh, you know, when we're able to do that, you know, that, that's sort of what we're built off of. What was Kyle able to do tonight that got him as deep as he got into the night? I think he was just efficient. You know, he attacked guys. You know, there was a couple pitches that, you know, that we were aggressive with that, you know, they were able to get to. But at the end of the day, you know, we didn't let that waver what the plan was. You know, he wanted to go right after guys. I thought he had great command of both sides of the plate. And, uh, you know, when you get a team that, you know, is talented like the Yankees, you know, you, you got to just continue to attack and take your chances. I mean, I, I figured getting to there, you know, I mean, they got a great closer in Holmes. I mean, you, you got to go to him there. I've been in, seeing too many ball games where, you know, you get into the ninth and you give your guy a chance, but, you know, you, you flip it over to a closer usually there and you got to tip our cap to, to our guys that had some great at-bats against Holmes. So, uh, they was, uh, they was, you got to win on one pitch and one pickoff. I know, I know. Hey, he came in, uh, you know, an aggressive base runner there. He did a great job holding and, and picking and, uh, you know, put, put a perfect pick over there. And, uh, you know, it was one of those things where you do that, then he made a couple of really good pitches there to, uh, to Rizzo and, you know, was able to really keep us in the game.